Jacob gets angry and tells Laban, I have worked for you for all these years. I've done all these things. And my God has seen how much injustice you have done to me. And Jacob is angry at Laban. And Laban tells Jacob, listen, me, I'm sorry. Paul, these kids are my kids. These daughters are my daughters. This flock are mine. Finally, may you and I build an altar right now. And may this altar witness between me and you. So Laban and, and Jacob raise an altar, offer a sacrifice to witness justice between them. In the raising of the altar and lifting of justice, Rachel has just, this, has just decreed very quickly that you are my Lord to the Father. And Jacob is coming from a family where barrenness was an issue. Barrenness was an altar where he came from. Out of prayers and sacrifices, his father, his grandfather, and himself were able to beat, to beat the spirit of violence that was in the family, an altar of origin in the family that was for violence. Rachel has decided to pay allegiance and steal foreign gods and go back to them. Her father, who she calls her Lord, raises an altar. When he's raising an altar, it's not just between him and Jacob. Because in the verse before he has said, my daughters are, I mean, these are my daughters. He's claiming them. Lord is owner. They are my daughters. Therefore, if I'm raising an altar and I'm offering a sacrifice, this altar is not only witnessing for me, Laban, it's witnessing for Leah, for Rachel, and for your children. You see what is happening? A Lord is raising an altar and putting a sacrifice. And a child has accepted the lordship and the ways of that person. She has not, because speaking those gods, and I am here Jacob, I don't follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I follow the gods of my father. Now, these two altars begin to clash. But you see, she had not abandoned the altars of her father. And Jacob has made a covenant for his household. And he says, this altar is witnessing for my house. And Laban is saying, this altar is witnessing for my house. Then they put blood upon that altar. What happens? The altar of origin that had set barrenness to be a way of life in that family. When Rachel is giving birth, that altar comes to collect what is rightfully is. And that is what kills her. It is the altars of her father that witness against her and they take her life. Good morning. Good morning. 